Hello and welcome back to Adventures of Well Lovely, and today I've got a little bit of a different unboxing video for opening Adventures on Sunday. Uh, this time we are unboxing my new GoPro um, session, or GoPro Hero 4 session. Uh, this is what I'm going to be doing unboxings um, on as of the next video. Um, also I can do some vlogs and stuff using it. Um, it's just going to be a little bit easier than using the iPhone um, for certain things. And because my iPhone just kept filling up completely, and I wasn't actually able to like store any more footage on there, I had to go through and delete everything pretty much as soon as I used it. Um, so I've now got this. This way I can use uh, micro SD cards um, for storage, and I can also set it up and use my phone as a um, like monitor to see what I'm filming. Um, and if you haven't seen, I used a GoPro um, in another video earlier where I built a model so this is just going to be um, give me more options or opportunities like that where I can actually um, you know just try different videos um, in different format styles now I'll give you a quick look at the box so that's the GoPro uh, Hero 4 session there the box you can see it's got some uh, just like the technicalities about it on the, the box you know what it can do about the app you know how you can um, shoot your footage, details about the camera there, all down there as well. It's probably a bit blurry because it's focused on my face in that shot there. But anyway, I'm going to get straight into this, get it out of this one, this box, that's rubbish, <laughs> out of this box. It also comes with some mounts and that, which we'll have a look at as well. Um, so you can see what you get completely in the box. That's the little plastic case that <laughs> came off the top there. Anyway, here's the camera mounted on here. What we are going to do, if I can, is I'm going to take this base off. Because I could just use this little plastic base at any time. Alright, so I know it's clicked in. Go remember how to unclick it. Hmm. Have a look at that in a second. You can unwind it here. Just take the camera off. I think you can unclick that base there, and that's like part of the base that you get with it. Um, but we'll have a look at that later. I'm not going to spend all my time. I don't want this to be a long video. So, <laughs> as I'm unscrewing this, it's taking forever. Here we go. So now I can unmount that. And at the same time, remove this piece, which I think is what's holding the base in here. Not sure. Aha, here we go. That should push out there. Yeah, there we go. That was holding it in place. So you've got this part. This clips in here. Uh, if you can see, there's like three teeth. Clips in there. And then you put that screw back in here. And that holds it in place. I won't do that right now, we're just going to have a quick look at the camera. Oh, nice and close. Oh, you can see the reflection there. So you can see there's the camera lens in there. Um, and it is a cube shape, really little, um, nice and handy. Um, it's a good little size, it's not going to take up a lot of um, space when you're trying to film, if you need just the camera with you. You can take it in your car, you can film while driving, things like that. If you've got like some road trip you're going on, you can mount it in certain places. Um, which is all cool. You've got a little indicator up on the top here for what you're doing and the button. Um, so that will tell you, I think, it's what uh, mode it's in and things like that. Um, on the back here, you've got your wireless button and it's got your little different modes here. You can't see it because it's just um, kind of a slightly different tone of black there. Um, and in the side here, you can pop it, you've got the micro SD and the USB cable in here. So it's really nice and small. And if we pop this open here, I believe, you can take it out of that case. So that's the camera there by itself without the casing on it there. And it is tiny. I mean, if you look at my hand, that's the, that is the camera there. Like, that is, that is tiny. And I don't, I don't have big hands either. I've got pretty small hands, so... Yeah, look at that. So small. 
you know, and it's pretty much the same size all the way around, so you know it's like really small. Uh, but that's the camera there. We'll get into some filming of that later on. Um, I just gotta give get everything set up. Comes with some GoPro stickers, which I just dropped on the floor. <laughs> um, what else do we have? We have quick start guide. Always handy, tells you how to use everything. We'll look at that later because I'm not filming with it right now. And in here, what else have we got? User manual, pretty thick. <laughs> um, I'm gonna assume it's got, yeah, different languages. So English is, wow, there is actually a lot. I'm trying to show you how thick this is. Troubleshooting, custom sort. That part there of the book is the English user manual part. It's almost like half that little book there. Uh, then you got your safety information, you know, all those important things that a lot of the time I do not read. Alright, what else have we got? We've got another um, bracket here. Is it, how's this one different? Is it the same? Ah, okay. So this bracket, um, as you can see, the back is different. So if that's the front, that's where the camera is going to be looking out. We have the clips up the uh, top, right from how I'm holding it, <laughs> yeah. um, which show you the, like that locks it onto it. So if we put the camera back in to one of these, so it slides in, really nice and smooth. Clip this, that's going to hold the camera in its casing. If we unclip it, then we can just slide it out, like so. But this one has a mount mounting bracket on the back, whereas this one has it on the bottom. So you'll be able to get different um, shots, um, depending on how you position those. So you've got two um, brackets there. We also have um, some sticky mounting pads. So these we can actually stick onto things, I believe, that you generally are going to keep it more permanently on there, from the look of it. So I think that comes off think. I've got, to, I've got to look into it. Either way, let's get this open and have a look at these. So they're like little mounting pads. So I'm pretty sure. Or is that just, no, that's just a soft, I'm not sure. I should look into it. I should, came up with the low battery prompter. <laughs> um, I should look into that before I just speculate on what's in it. Let's actually have a look at the quick start guide. It should tell me. Then I can tell you everything exactly as I'm supposed to. This opens up again. <laughs> Does it say? Does it say? No. It, you know You know what it's going to say? It's going to say it on the box. Curved and flat adhesive mounts. Yeah, so they you can stick those to something. Um, in here... It shows you how it's stuck to this helmet here. So those um, mounts, you actually, yeah, you peel it off and you can stick it on. I was right, I wasn't just making stuff up. I knew what I was talking about. Anyway, what else do we get? Because that's the box empty now. I've got the rest in my hand. So we get another screw which holds the um, the bracket in place when you've got the camera there. You've got your USB cable to plug it into the computer to take your footage and I think also charge this one. Um, I've got to read up on all that. Um, we also have some different um, brackets here. So we've got this one, which is like an L-shaped bracket. Brings it a little bit forward when you want to clip it onto something. And like the other one, these just, if you get it in the right spot, take this little bit out so you can actually stick it in place. Because <laughs> they spring latch. Which way does it go? I don't think it matters. But yeah, so they just clip in there. Do you push that back down? I'd assume so. Not that I really know what I'm doing, I'm just making this up as I go. Now maybe you can take that completely out. It looks like it. Anyway, I'm not going to fiddle with it now, but anyway, you can have the adhesive mount with the bracket. I should stop fiddling and actually just read the instructions. That's a little rubber pad, so it looks like it would pop out. Um, so you get that mount there. Um, and this one here, which is a ball mount, and if I can work out how to use it, you'd be able to, um, swivel its ball joint, which is awesome. It's 
pretty sure it's either just tight from not being used or it's locked in place right now. We'll explore that later on. Um, and you've got also these clips here which um, hold them out in place and stop it from um, vibrating as much. And that's what I pulled out of the top. It says remove and recycle. Anyway, that's the camera there. This is a kind of a um, experimental unboxing. Usually I do blind bags. This one um, had specific things in it which I did not look up beforehand what I was telling you about. I kind of knew the gist of what it came with. Um, but when I was ordering, I was more interested in the camera itself and not the brackets and that that came with it. So that's that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be using this um, from now on for different unboxings where I can get better angles and I can set things up better um, rather than trying to use my phone on the dodgy little tripod which I have, which I can show you right now as I finish off. So this is what I've been using, this flimsy little um, tripod thing. Like the base doesn't even like lock in anymore. Like it'll just pop out if you want it to. Like it's one, one screw in. And it used to just fall off like this when I was filming. So now that, we're, now that we've got rid of that, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be filming with all this. I'm gonna sort it out, play with it, work it out, and then I'll make a video and show you how it looks. Um, once you've got it set up, I just gotta follow the quick start instructions. Yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I know it was a very, very strange video. Um, totally unscripted or everything. I just thought I'd make a quick opening before I go and test it out. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, guys.